Hey yo, it's Bobby aka Paginator and I have got the May bookish box. It's almost the end of May so it looks like like boxes are getting back on track with this is our schedules which is super super exciting and yeah. Anyway, this box is supposed to be Harry Potter themed. So I'm really, really, really excited and I have a staff meeting in a little bit but I'm taking my lunch break now so I can film this. When I picked this up at the post office, the lady there is so cute. She's like, I love when you get these boxes because I see the little crinkly things coming out and it feels like you're getting a party. I really wanted to invite her to the party, but social distancing, you know. All right. So our um, card right here with the, all the e e info on it is on top and the theme is Lessons in Magic. Enough said. All right. Let's move some of these crinklies. Oh, I have a little garbage can right here, and almost all the crinklies made it in, but like a couple. <sighs> One day I'll get all of them. All right. So the first thing I see is a bookmark, which is um, a quote from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It says, from dawn till dusk, you will be lucky in everything you attempt, which of course is the Felix Felicis Liquid Luck Potion. That's what it gives you is is like luck for the day and Harry takes this in order to get the memory he needs from the potions professor slughorn okay well there's a big fabric -y item holy monstrousness here okay this thing is like in the zippered plastic pouch and it's fuzzy and soft and I just want to snuggle it. I don't even know what it says, but it's so soft. All right, let's take a look at what this thing is, what it says, what it's got on it. All right, turn the printed side towards you guys. Is it right side up? Did I do it right? Okay, I, this is so big. I have no idea what I'm showing you or not. Okay. Draco, Dormians, this is the Hogwarts motto. This is never tickle a sleeping dragon. Aww. Oh goodness. Oh, I can't even begin to describe to you how soft this is. It kind of feels like that minky fabric. Um, yeah, it's just lovely. Hmm. Okay, I can't sit here and cuddle with this all day. I've got stuff to do. All right, what else do we have in here? Um, now, there's not going to be a book, but the the items are making up for it. In the, I'm sure they spent the cost of the box on these items. Now, we have a book sleeve, and this is one of those very stiff ones. And I'm going to try to see if I can get it out of the plastic for you to see better. Okay, here's the book sleeve, and let's bring it closer for you to see. See, there's Hogwarts there. We've got the lake. There's a monster. Cool. Oh, and if we turn it, you can see there's a bookshelf here. But if we turn it to the back, you can see um, the same print, and we've got the, the Forbidden Forest and the Quidditch Pitch here, which is also on the front side, but the flap covers it up. I like that there's a snap and I like that this is big because you can fit your Harry Potter books in here. Very, very much liking this. All right, what is next? Aw, so we have a print that says Aloha Mora, which of course is the door opening unlocking spell. Ooh. We have another print that's a winged key from the first book, Sorcerer's Stone, when they have to battle through the different um, impediments into getting where the stone is being kept. Yes, I know, it's Philosopher's Stone in Britain. I say Sorcerer's Stone because I'm an American. Sorry. All right, next we have a sticker. Um, this is 
a saying from Professor Trelawney, broaden your minds. And we've got the little teacup with the Deathly Hallows here and all of the mystical, are you in the beyond? Things from that class. <laughs> oh, this is darling. Okay. Um, we have an enamel keychain and it's a mandrake and it's so cute. Oh, look at that. Ah. And the little container that he's in has got Hogwarts on it. Ah, I love it. <laughs> we have three items left and the first of these is an enamel pin. And this has got a wand and a cup and the shiny's making it hard. Okay, so the black space is the cat. Then we have the rat here. Don't get me started on that rat. Um, and we've got like a swish of magic. It's very cool. Very pretty. It's going to go right on my Harry Potter pin display banner. Excellent. Next we have a magnet, and this has uh, Magical Creatures Majestic Unicorn. Uh, it has information about the anatomy, life cycle, and wizard connections of the unicorn. I better not let my nieces see this or they'll steal it. They have a slight unicorn obsession. Our last item was dropped in those bubble poppers, and you didn't see this because I'm going to cut it out, but I just had fun like smashing all of the pops. It, it was very fun. But we have a candle, and it is called Patronus. This is hand-poured by the bookish shop. Blood Orange Magic and Sugared Fig is the scent description. Let's take a look here. It is a wood wick. I really hope it's going to be a wood wick that works well, because, you know, that bugs the crap out of me. Ooh, when they don't work. Okay, so the Blood Orange is, is very prominent in that scent. Um, I'm not sure that I know what a sugared fig would smell like, so it could be there as well. I I don't think I've ever had a fig. I've seen them. Um, I don't know what they smell like. Interesting. Cool. Well, this has been a fun unboxing. Um, I think the blanket slash tapestry slash I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it's too pretty to use. Actually, the blanket thing is my favorite because it's so soft and cuddly. Um, or the uh, Mandrake keychain, because that's just delightful. Um, they were all really good items, though. I don't, I, there's not one item that I think, oh, that was just a throwaway thing. I like it. Cool. Well, this has been a fun unboxing. I am going to sign off now and wish you all a wonderful and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.